the western United States is rich in renewable energy. The southwest gets lots of sun, and Montana has plenty of wind. We have the best wind resources in America. We have the largest uh, category five through seven wind areas uh, in the country. When you go all the way back down to category three, which is what a lot of the European wind is, Montana is number one. Harnessing that wind could help the nation reduce its carbon footprint and air pollution. But the question is how to get that wind energy to the densely populated areas that need it. The strongest wind sites are in areas that are largely remote. The, the best solar sites, while there's some in Arizona moving into California, they're limited. So how will the West bridge the gap between energy production and consumption? Is you have to connect the dots with transmission lines. We need to have a way to actually transport that electricity into the load centers where people work and live and play, and they can utilize this non-polluting source. But connecting the dots will require a major overhaul of the Western Electric Grid. Power companies, utilities, and federal agencies are proposing revamping the aging infrastructure. We haven't made a lot of investments in our transmission system for many, many years. And we essentially have gotten behind, and we need to make those investments. In addition to bringing clean energy online, the grid needs more capacity to deliver power to Western states with growing populations. Officials estimate that modernizing and expanding the grid could require building 4,000 to 8,000 new miles of power lines by 2015. And that would cost billions of dollars. But the cost of not upgrading could be even greater. So if you want to combat climate change, you need to bring in large-scale utility wind and solar and, and geothermal type projects. And to do that, you need transmission. Today, the grid is wired for coal-fired power plants, which scientists say contribute to global warming. Rewiring the grid for renewable energy could create other impacts. New power lines would require clearing large corridors of land. We can't do it in a haphazard way. We can't just throw power lines all across the West. We really have to do it uh, in a smart, uh, comprehensive way. So energy conservation and careful planning will be needed to ensure that solving one environmental problem doesn't generate another. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.